All right, New Jack, welcome back for another one. But before we get started, I got to give it up. All right, we got Marcus Holder, Gary Gregan, Petty Officer, Belden Jones, Leon, Angela Goldthree, Lawrence Wells, Jafar Muzami, Phyllis Jackson Husky, Courtney Carter 318, Miss Carter 318, Christopher Cahey, Linda Refado. Let's get it. All right, my New Jack fam, this episode got a lot of background in it. Uh, zoom in and let's get it. When I say wake up, you say get to it. Wake up. Get up. All right, all right, listen up. Now, I ain't feeling too well today, so I ain't for it. I'm just here to tell you we got a new CO. This is CO O'Brien. You want to say anything, CO? Oh, uh, just, hey, my name is CO O'Brien. Hey, I'm a good guy, you know, doing a job. Please respect me, and I respect you. Now, the minute I seen this rookie CO, CO O'Brien, why they got this dude up in here? This a rookie. All right, inmates, get to it. Spencer introduced CO O'Brien, get through his roll call, and he dismisses us. I head back to my cell, you know. Get myself together Jesus I hear the call from the fellas So I head out to meet them well, I get with the fellas And me and them go cop a swat And we discussing our strategy Walking the child Oh there you go What's up G baby It's Roger coming in He out early this morning What's up bro Man I'm cooling man What's been popping on y'all side bro Man laying low Tripping on this male shit But what I really want to ask you man What happened with that sneaky t-shirt bro Man that old bitch ass nigga Jack one of my soldiers man Shit I heard you out here Jacking too, babe. Where well, you heard that at? Come on, man. It's prison, bro. You know how that go. Yeah, I ain't gonna front. I ain't gonna front. I have been doing that, bro. But you know my family, bro, just cut me off, bro. I feel where you at, Roderick. I ain't about to give you no lecture, bro. I just want you to understand, bro. Everybody in here got it hard, dog. I hear you on that, G. So, me and little Roderick sit there and chop it up. But before he leave, I got something else for you, big brother. And you won't give me something, put it on my books. You know how they get that cash in here, huh? All right, I'm gonna do that. I'll put it on your books, big brother, man. But look, I'm gonna get back with y'all got some business go 10 too so let roger scroll off and we head the child once again we walking say fellas y'all heading the child y'all already know it's crazy steve where the hell you be coming from bro not that far like right over there man hey man but they say that dude get better every day man that boy steve and put himself in witness protection once again all the way to the child hall all he talk about is knife so we walk in go through the line grab our trays and go find us a table to sit at everything good and peaceful told you little Oh, man, school just that little one standing in the side of his head, bro. Run it. Bring it down, bro. Man, I'm sitting there eating my food. Old school, jump up like Flash and run on little one. Put a blade straight through the side of little one's head. Now, little one can't be no more than 18 or 19. Now, I found out what happened. He came in here on that street, gangsta, gangsta shit, and disrespected one of them OGs, and them OGs ain't bought that shit. And when that blade hit that boy head, all that boy head did was this. Boom, straight on the table. Now, the nasty shit, this come in with old school take his knife back out little one head you see shit skeet that shit crazy after old school got his weapon back he walked up there banged his tray and walked out he used to this i ain't even much hungry no more I i'm gonna still eat mine we wait on more to finish eating because he still got his appetite we bang our trays and we leave out the child house hey, hey fellas y'all y'all do me a favor bro i gotta go to medical man i gotta get insulin man or uh, i gotta get it every two days man we walking out the child hall and crazy steve asked us to go to medical with him. We head to medical with him. I need my right hormones. These ain't the right goddamn pills. I, I've been on this shit for like six to eight months. I gotta stay on these hormones. We get the medical long arm tucker in there cutting up about some hormone pills. Wait a minute, goddamn it. It ain't even much all late. It ain't even much like that. While we walking up, Crawford walking up, he see long arm what he doing and he go up to long arm and go out. You listen to me? You better take what they gave you and get your ass out of here. Hold on, Crawford. I'm I'm, I'm gonna give him these right here. These gonna work for him. Huh? These should work for you. Thank you. Now go on. Get your ass out of here. Now when we standing inside of medical waiting on Crazy Steve to get his insulin, we look this way. We see Lamb. He's sitting in the triage waiting area eating some soupy ass grits. I mean, he in there. Now because he got injured in that bomb explosion, he got 14 days and he gonna suck them all up for a little injury risk. So he spots us and do some little stupid shit. I don't even know what the hell it means. And we just throw our hand back up. Crazy Steve get his insulin. We heading back to J Block. Oh, IG right, babe. Good knowing you, my dude. Stay strong. Keep your head up, Mel, bro. You heard, huh? On my way to the penitentiary. Shut your damn mouth. Keep walking in, mate. I ain't gonna lie. This was the most.
Messed up moment I had in a long time. When we come out of medical heading back to J Block, I see Mel coming out fully strapped down on his way to catch that ride. After we watch Mel just walk for as long as we can before he disappear, we walk the other way. What the f Now we passing L, but I have to bag up. Cause I see Terrell in the cell with the skinny dude and they tongue kissing. Now we only stopped there for about two seconds. Cause we just couldn't believe what we saw. Them little young dudes then just made him bow down. Now we get back to Jay, but everything go cool for the most part. So I'ma fast forward up about two hours before last child. Boy, you better stop playing with me. You heard me? You might have beat Big Man, but you can't f with me. Ain't no mother Way class really knacking this nigga. What you about? We getting ready for last child. And once again, we discussing our walking strategy. When some shit pop off with this dude named Paul and Lil Nacky this shit. Yeah, come on, little bit more. Why you way back there, boy? Come on. Say you want this. Let's go. Now for about 15 minutes straight, they just stand there and talk shit. So we thinking this shit gonna simmer down because they ain't did nothing yet. Pop, 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 pop. All right, all right, Lil Nacky. This ain't no easy win. Come on, boy. My turn. Pop, 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 pop. Damn, your boy got some quick hands too. Now we sitting here watching this fight and both of these dudes got some quick hands. But one thing about these dudes, man, they stubborn. Bitch, you bitch, you bitch. Fuck your Man, I lied to you not. These dudes fight about an hour and they beat each other. See now. And when Nack and his homeboy break it up, it don't stop them. All right, bro. I got it, man. I'm good. I'm about to go sit down, man. I'm going to sit down too, man. Say, bro, get your bitch out. Both of these niggas decide to go sit on the bench by each other. And they start punching on each other again. Now, both of their homies end up getting that situation simmered down. We going up to when me and the fellas walk back from last child. Hold it down. What's that with y'all boys, bro? So soon as we turn the corner, we run into Colin homeboy Jacob. Hey, man, y'all want to play poker, bro? We can play strip poker. Oh, he playing now. <laughs> I bet you ain't playing now. Duncan come out of nowhere, grab him and uppercut the hell out of dude he was standing there with. Strike out. <laughs> man, Duncan put the blay blay on that boy. Now we busting the move. We not about to stand there till he finish. We book Looking into J Block. Every time we look back, uh, yeah. can't do it. We get right before J Block. Say, say, man, do something. Put a spell on him, say. Say, Tiger, man, stop doing that, bro. Dude, about to come up and touch me, bro, and shit gonna get bad, bro. Chill out, man. So now we between two lines, and we see these dudes named Tiger and Damian Young, and they out there with the dude they call Satan. Now, Satan is like a generic white guy. Short, not too chubby, but not small either. You know, he got that George Jefferson cut. Shaggy ass hair on his face. That dude. Fuck that nigga. Satan, go do that shit, man. Put that spell on him, man. Uh-oh. Bitch, is you stupid? Bah, bah. Say no, put your hand in your ass, man. Put the spell on him. Bah, bah. You better put the spell on him or I'ma get you. This was all this was about. Some fun shit for them to do. They lowered that man all the way from down there by Q. All the way here to beat his ass. Me and the fellas walk on the J. But we can still see them. They out there trying out kicks and shit on this man. Oh, man, get that nigga up, man. I won't try this bitch. Bow. I was on the island in Kalahula with both of these dudes. When I tell you them some dirty... Dirty motherfuckers. Fast forward up two hours. Hey, man. Come check this out. It's Kitario, so we gon' see what he talking about. Now, he take us the long way all around F. So, we walk up to F, one-man shower. Now, F is the only block that has a one-man shower. It has the showers like every other block, but it has a one-man shower. No, bro. Man, the dude could have gave me a warning or something. Man, his stomach completely cut open, bro. This dude, then they got him hung tied and hung like a pig, cuz. Now, they got inmates coming from everywhere, and they can't stop. I'm going on and on about what they looking at. It's Nathaniel B. Now, I'm looking at the way this little dude hung up there and how he gutted the raw way. And I'm knowing ain't no youngsters do this. This was an old school. Now, I also found out later that he been in this one man shower for two days. It was at that moment that I realized I liked it, that little dude more than I thought I did. That darkness wouldn't leave me all day. So after we see that, we see people shoot out to go get help. But we don't want to be there when they get there. So we leave and go back to J Block. All right, babe. All right, bro. All right, man. Soon as we pull up on J Block, the fellas start dapping each other down. All of them talking about they about to go back to their cells. This must have affected everybody. When I get back to my cell, I go through some feelings that I'm not ready to share just yet. Let's 
just say, I felt the loss. When I say wake up, you say get to it. Wake up, get, get to it. it. So Baker wakes us up this morning. He get through his roll call. All right, fellas, get to it. Head to my cell, get myself together. Jesus. I hear the fellas. I leave out and go link up with them and head to child. Hey, man, y'all walk like normal, bro. Y'all just keep walking. I'm going to fall back. Hey, fellas, got your ass. This where you at. He got his ass ducked out where the queen's at. Hey, man, I like y'all boys, bro. I want to ask y'all something, man. So Crazy Steve asked, could he be a part of New Jack? This was the day Crazy Steve became New Jack. <laughs> We about to hit the corner to turn through the gate and we hear screaming coming from behind us. Now I pick up this immediately. This scream is different. So we hit the brakes and bust a U. Now we busting cause we gotta run all the way back to H. Please stop, please. Now this will be the first day that I meet this dude Munchy. I would say me and him about equal in smarts, but he a predator. So when we get down there, we see Munchy got one of CO O'Brien pants legs. O'Brien trying to take his pants off. Pop, 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 pop. I always wanted to run in the sea of While Munchie down there just clobbering this man, he down there screaming and hollering the whole time. Then after a while, you see four Munchie homeboys come run up. Oh yeah! Bow, bow, bow! Nobody care about your family. Now hold on, this was shit get crazy. Bow, bow! Hey, go ahead, beat it. <laughs> hey, what's that? This your crew right here? Yeah. Oh, okay, okay. I just wanted to know, baby, that's all. And the nigga just walk off. Stay home. Your name G though, right? Now as we walking off and he walking to wherever his partners then took O'Brien to cause I was so focused in on him I stopped even paying attention to that. He wait till he get halfway down H Hall to turn around and say hey homie your name G huh? Just to let me know he know who I am. So after that happened me and the fellas we turn back around and we go to child. You know I ain't about to let this mess up my day but I never stop going over it in my mind. So we finally make it to the child hall. Let me get that tray trustee. Grab the Trey sit down and start eating. Now I'm sitting there eating my food, but I'm still going over this munchy situation over and over and over. <laughs> Oh, okay. Now, normally, it'll take me a little bit longer to figure it out, but that's just how it happened. I had them put it together already, what's going on. Now, I don't tell the crew. I want to think about it a little bit longer to make sure that's really what it is. Bang our trays, and we going up to when we walking in the entrance of J-Line. Hey, bro, y'all heard me? They rolled that CO out over there, man. They took him out. He gone. So, this day... We walking in the entrance of J-Line and we distracted by some dudes talking about they done raw CO O'Brien now. They done took him out. He gone. You know, yeah, they did whatever they did to him. They couldn't let him live. He ain't like an inmate. He gonna identify them. Man, y'all heard that, bro. They done raw that man out round now. Bitch, F-F-F-F-F-F-F-F-F-F-F-F-F-F-F-F-F-F-F-F-F-F-F-F-F-F-F-F-F-F-F-F-F-F-F-F-F-F-F-F-F-F-F-F-F-F-F-F-F-F-
this visitation and the CO said, your family didn't show up? Man, he done got this little dude in a neck lock and he poking this little dude up. Little dude feet off the ground. Okay, guys, it's 11.58. I didn't get number four hours of sleep and I woke up so I can get that other video out to you guys. I'm going to upload this one tonight before I go to sleep. I'll see you guys soon.